So there is a rotational version of the work energy theorem. So remember, if you revisit back when we derived work and energy back in unit three, is we said the work gave you the change in kinetic energy. Okay, and this work was force times the displacement here. And now there was a tricky part, right? We talked about work having the force parallel component of the displacement, but that, that, that part was there, right? And so there's an analogous form of the rotational form, torque causing a change in rotational kinetic energy, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to be very careful on here when you're doing this. We do not want to ever use this for the entire work energy problem solving process. Okay, this type of work is a rotational form of work, but that doesn't apply. There's not a rotational form of gravitational potential energy or spring potential energy. Don't try to use the full process other than rotational work and rotational kinetic energy because they're not compatible. 